Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. You know what I'm going to say, let's go see what's in the fridge today guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Short Brewery. This is the Magician, which is a dark red London style ale, guys. And this is, uh, this is uh, one of the beers that Nicholas sent me. Uh, so, uh, I have done a couple of the Short Beer uh, beers before that uh, another one of my subs sent, sent to me from out there. So, uh, cannot get these beers out here in Virginia. So, uh, this beer is uh, our Irish Red Ale, according to Beer Advocate, coming in at 6%. I don't think it has it on here. Brewed in uh, Elk Rapids, Michigan. Keep refrigerated. And I don't see a date. Now, there may be something digitized on the bottle here somewhere, guys. So we'll look when the condensation is gone, when we come back for the final show, we'll see if we see anything. But I don't see anything on the label at all here. So, uh, the food pairings for this beer, it says meat is pork and poultry. And that's all it's got listed here on Beer Advocate. The glass wire is pint becker and stein and mug of Sidell. Uh, I got the pint glass today, guys, and the beer is not recommended for extended salarings at, uh, at that lower ABV. Six uh, percent is going to keep for a little bit, but basically you want to have this within a, a year of it's putting it, put, of it being put in a bottle, depending on how hot forward it is, guys. So with that being said, I don't think there's anything else we need to discuss, so let's get the cap off of this one. And it does have the price tag on here to still... Uh, where when Nicholas paid a dollar seventy nine, so that's a good price for a beer. That's better than ten dollars and seventy nine cents for a bottle of this size. So some of them are getting out of getting out of price range on some of. Them. And then once they do that, they go to the bigger bottle of bomber or even the seven fifty milliliter, so they can charge you more. Yeah, that's how it works. Into the glass we go. Let's get this down the center, basically, and see what we end up with. All right, guys. Not a whole lot, a little bit of sediment in the bottom of the bottle. Over into the light. Ah, it is a rich caramel color. Not quite to the red ribbonness, but it is fairly bronze color. It's fairly reddish. Good call on the red ale. It def definitely looks like a red ale, guys. And I poured it semi aggressive there and didn't get a monster head on it. So, and what did pour it is basically dissipating, just covering the top of the beer. Looks pretty good in the glass. A lot of bubbles streaming up from the bottom of it. Looks fairly well carbonated. Let's get a nose on it see what we got. Oh yeah. Sweet. A sweet malt with caramel and toffee. Uh, just a little bit of dark fruit in there. Maybe it's some figs or dates or raisins or something. But a sweet malt. It basically stands out right there. And the caramel. It smells very delicious. Cheers. Rather pleasant. Easy drinking. No hit of alcohol whatsoever. Caramel. Toffee. Just a little dark fruit there. Nothing outstanding one way or the other. Not a lot of heavy flavors. A good session beer. Barely average. Nothing standing out. So basically this is a, a session type beer uh, for this style that they're putting up. Very light. Very easy drinking. A lot of caramel and toffee in there. Sweet malt. Basically, that's about it, guys. So we're going to let it warm up 40 degrees around the fridge, and we'll come back and see where this ends up. Stick around. 
Alright guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. It was a decent beer. Nothing to write home about. Slightly above average as far as I'm concerned. Had a lot better red ales than this, but this is very tasty, fairly sessionable. So, with that being said... Very easy drinking. Nothing spectacular. Uh, like I said, slightly above average. Nice, toppy caramel taste. Little on the sweeter side, not bitter at all. So, very sessionable beer, guys. Uh, uh, Nicholas, thanks again for sending this to me. Uh, I'm gonna give this a five, which is a B minus, uh, just slightly above average, guys. So uh, there are or there are some better better ones than this. So if you see this, and like I said, uh, the sticker on the top of the cap was a dollar seventy nine cents. So it's not an expensive beer. So I. Feel pretty comfortable that this is a, a, an easy to get, uh, like the grocery store type of beer. So, and what they're wanting is to uh, convert the macro loggers and the macro drinkers to uh, to something like this with a little more taste, and, and not to have so much taste that it's going to scare them off. So, with that being said, guys, uh, that's what I'm going to give it. Uh, Break beer has 55 overall and 76 in the style, and Bear Abbott comes up with 78, which is in their average range. So. Average to slightly above average. Uh, like I say, nothing spectacular here. If you've had this one, give me some comments back on this. Whether you liked it or loved it. Uh, best thing you ever had. Couldn't stand it. And as always, guys, hit the like button and come on back tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. Hope you can join me then. One final note on that beer, guys. It did have a date on the neck of the bottle. It, it, it had that 10-12-2012. Uh, uh, so that beer was done in October. I want to give you that information on that short brewing beer there. So, and the other one uh, that I'm going to be doing that he sent me uh, also has a date on the neck of it too. So it's a right, digitized right on the top of the neck. Now you know where to look for it. It's easier to see uh, when you turn it on the light there, guys. So I want to give you that info. Cheers!